Hasbro's Fan Fest is coming up, and we decided to do a top 10 G.I. Joe classified figures. Yo, Joe! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to AR Headquarters. Today, we're doing a top 10 G.I. Joe classified speculation slash figures that we want in this upcoming Hasbro Fan Fest. So we decided to put together a top 10 with an honorable mention. So let's get started here. So our honorable mention is Tunnel Rat. Tunnel Rat was actually picked by the Joes to go in ahead of time, their point man, and flush out and do recon before the Joes headed into any missions. And his job was make sure that everybody got in and got out safely. So for that reason, we have him as our honorable mention. So starting off at number 10, and they're not in any particular order, so I don't want to hear or see any hate messages in the comment sections, although you are welcome to let us know your top 10. But at number 10, it's Major Blood. Now, Major Blood, this guy is so cool. He's got an eye patch, he's got a French mustache, and he's just a rude, obnoxious type of guy. You know, his specialties are he's a mercenary, he specializes in long-range sniper rifles, explosives he was actually hired by cobra commander to kill destro i mean how crazy is that i want that type of character in my collection yes please coming in at number nine is one of my favorites chuckles i mean how do you not like this character he's got the hawaiian shirt and everything on you know he's a natural likable character in the gi joe lore which is well suited for his job, which is an undercover operative. You know, he's very gracious, natural. It also helps him earn trust for his marks that he's, you know, targeting. And um, they have no idea what's coming because he's such a likable person. Chuckles has no record in the GI Joe database and he has no accolades, which is exactly what he wants. He's totally fine with that because he's just a chill guy doing his job as an undercover agent. Coming in number eight is Monkey Wrench. Yeah, you heard me, Monkey Wrench. You know, he's part of the Dreadnoughts group. They look like, you know, brutes, like Mad max S type of guys. Classic badass, grenades strapped across their vest. That's who they are. That's what they are all about. This guy is, you know, his background, he's a self-taught explosives expert with a bad attitude. We need that in our collection. So I would love to see Hasbro make Monkey Wrench. Number seven, which is probably a fan favorite, Dr. Mind Bender. This guy was an orthodontist in his history. He was a dentist. He wanted to create a device that would help alleviate pain. But instead, he damaged his brain and went all crazy and psychotic but retained his scientific skills and intellect and just basically became a, a crazy evil scientist. You got to remember Dr. Mindbender was actually commissioned by Cobra to create one of the greatest soldiers of all time, Sir Pentor. I mean, that's how talented this guy was and that's how important this guy was to Cobra. So Dr. Mindbender, it's a no-brainer. Get it? Uh... Number six, barbecue. Mm. No, not that barbecue. That barbecue. So barbecue was basically a former Boston Fire Department guy that came on to the Joes as a you know fireman specialty guy. He does jobs out of the sense of civil duty, not out of family loyalty or any military sound. And you know he loves being a party animal. He's just a fun guy to be around with, but. You know, when it's time to go to work, he, he's going to be there for all the Joes and make sure that they're taken care of in terms of, you know, any fire hazards or anything like that. You know, he's a specialist. So love the look of the guy. I love how, you know, the word, the name barbecue is such a cool name. Who wouldn't want this kind of character in their collection? It just, G.I. Joe has some of the craziest names and ca craziest characters looking out there. And, you know, it, you'd be crazy not to have someone like this in your collection. So, you know, he's number six on our list and, you know, 
Everybody likes barbecues, don't they? Number five on my list is Rock and Roll. I love this guy because I actually had this figure when I was a kid. And I would love to see this guy come back to life in the Classified series. Dual machine gun wielding type of guy. You know, he's a fun surfing type of guy. He's a weightlifter. You know, he's just an 80s character, you know, like Rambo and Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the 80s. I would love to have this guy in my collection. He's a man of integrity and honor. He sticks up for his guys in the G.I. Joe fields and battles. So definitely would love to see this guy being made and put into our collection. Number four on our list is Ripcord. I mean, give me a parachute with this guy. Let me throw this guy off. We'll actually throw this guy off our building if we get this guy with the parachute. I promise you guys this. We will do a video of how well Ripcord falls off a two-story building. We need this figure. I need this figure. I need a parachute guy. Please put a parachute in this packaging. Ripcord is cool. It just adds another dimension to our collection, not just army guys or spies or specialists, weapon specialists, but an actual jumper or parachute, you know, jumper airborne guy in our collections. It'd be so badass. Number three is Jinx. Now, she is a must-have in our collection. She actually is a specialist in a lot of martial arts. She went back home and she found out that she's part of the Arashikage clan. We know who that is, you know, who's associated with that clan, Snake Eyes, who recruited her. And how awesome would that be to have another ninja in our collection? We got our red ninjas, we got our Snake Eyes, and we got that uh, Take Storm Shadow. Can we just, you know, maybe forget about that one and maybe get a real Storm Shadow Hasbro? Maybe, maybe. Jinx, we definitely need to have that figure because it adds another element of having a full-on clan. And I think, you know, having another female character into that group just adds another, you know, cool element to it. Number two on our list is Tomox and Zaymok. Now, these guys are co-leaders of the elite Cobra soldiers. And sometimes they're referred to as Crimson Guard. They're such iconic twins in anything. You know, like whenever you have these twins in any character, you know, shows, anything like that, they just, they make it so much fun. And in the 80s, they made these guys so cool because they would finish e each other's sentences. They would do everything together. They were just a cool team. And I would love to see Hasbro make a two-pack. Do not make these single figures because... People are going to try to get it confused. You know, one's got a scar, the other one doesn't or something like that. And it's just going to be a mess trying to collect the two of them together. Just make it a two-pack. It'll be so cool. The twins. And it's a no-brainer. Just make it fun to collect. One package, you get both of them, and you're good to go. Number one on our list and number one on my personal list is Serpentor. I mean... They can make three, four of them. I don't care. I'll buy all of them. Make me a special edition one. Make me a regular one and some other offshoot version. I'll, I'll buy all of them. This guy is so awesome. I, I really, really need this guy in my collection. Just, just like the Cobra Commander, they made like three versions of them. I want the same thing for Serpentor. It's crazy the mashup of genetics they use to make this guy. The ultimate commander. The greatest champion of champions of fighters this guy's got it all he's got the brains the bronze the work the whole thing so Serpentor definitely needs an exclusive a special version you know because he's such a special character and a huge important character in the gi joe shows i would love to see an exclusive that's available to a lot of people but through hasbro pulse only i uh, would love to see a regular version if people are not interested in getting the fancy 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 stuff but, you know, just like Cobra Commander got three versions, we need multiple versions of him. So we hope you guys enjoy this top 10 rundown. We did one for Marvel Legends. We did one for Star Wars. And you guys can definitely check out those videos and give us your thoughts on those two videos. Maybe give us your top 10 for each one of them. And then definitely the G.I. Joe one, make sure you give us your top 10 or your thoughts in our picks. Maybe one that you didn't like, or maybe you should have added another one. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you guys. 
But this is all obviously because of the fan fest that's coming up. You know, we can't wait for it to show up. It'll be exciting. But we'll do more top tens down the road for other events and other, you know, things that we want to celebrate. So make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family. We love to hear uh, the feedback. We enjoy doing these videos for you guys. And all we ask is a couple of clicks. It makes our day. We thank you. If you're already following us, we thank you. Head on over to our social media platform and also check out our podcast. We've got a lot of other things that we talk about, but just action figures. So go to all these places, be informed, have fun, take care.